unleash your honesty and boldness with Tyler's single, Truth or Dare. Immerse yourself in the game with Truth and Dare. I don't know anything that's on these cards. Oh, so you never played? Never seen. Bet. Never played. Go first. So, my only option is, um, <laughs> Tyler, would you like to go on a date with me? Are you asking me for real? Yeah. Don't do that. What you mean? Why not? Don't you like do that. I'm serious. Whenever you get some free time, would you like to go on a date with me? You can't do that. On a whole live thing. Why not? It's, t it's true for there. Yeah. Um... But we're friends, though. You're right. Yeah, we're friends. You're right. <laughs> All right, uh, next one. Go ahead. Um, <laughs> grab your next one. Okay, let's, let's do the next one. <clears throat> okay. Okay, so if you don't know who this is, this is singer Tyler, who had one of the biggest songs within the past year, the song Water. Um, and so she just released her album and she went on an album tour. And I, I guess a part of the album release, um, she also went on Kai Sinat's live stream on Twitch, which is one of, I believe he is the biggest streamer on Twitch, period. Um, I believe so. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm almost positive that that's true. And so um, them being the same age, you know, his audience would be the demographic that she would be trying to reach in promoting her album. And I believe that they probably are friends. They know each other. They're they're both um, very prominent on social media. And so she went there and she was on his live stream for about two hours and they were just having fun, having a good time, promoting the album, talking about the album, you know, talking about her merch. And, you know, there, it was a very um, innocent show. OK, there was nothing, you know, crazy to talk about. There's nothing crazy that we saw in Sue. It was very normal, very regular, not a big deal. Um, while they were playing the game of truth or dare, Kai Sinat, you know, asked the dare was for him to ask somebody on a date. He called somebody. He asked her on a date. It was his friend. He got rejected. And so in turn, he was like, well, I guess that only leaves me and you, Tyler. You know, will you go on a date with me? And, you know, we saw that whole thing unfold. It was obviously very lighthearted, very jokey, jokey, whatever the case is. So the part of him asking her on a date made its way over to Twitter and adult star Mia Khalifa made this tweet that says, like, I get wanting to cultivate that young audience, but at what cost? Stay away from these little streamers. Let me backtrack. Let me just say that one more time. Adult entertainer Mia Khalifa. Okay, full stop. Like, there's nothing there's nothing else that we need to add to that part of the conversation. This is the same woman who is, who is giving advice on TikTok to women on why, you know, she's on her third marriage and why they can just, you know, get with somebody and leave them and keep it pushing. You know, marriage doesn't have to be a forever thing. You can easily get divorced. You know, treat marriage like dating. This is the same person who's spewing the same advice to younger women on TikTok. If younger women follow, you know, even just her diagram of how she's even known, what would that be telling younger women? But you draw the line at somebody asking someone respectively on a date. That's where you draw the line in the sand and you say, oh, no, girl, you know, at what cost? What are you willing to do, you know, for, for your album sales? What are you willing to do? But if we were to flip that question around and say, what were you willing to do? Something strange for a little piece of change. There was absolutely nothing wrong, nothing distasteful, nothing crazy that, that ensued. It was a very jovial time, and you just made it into something for no reason at all. Period. Period. This young woman was there. They were having a good time, and they are the same age. It's not like, you know, she's there with these, you know, 50-year-olds, and they're, they're you know, treating her like a piece of meat or anything like that. This was a very lighthearted, wholesome, you know, uh, fun time that the two of them were having. Nothing crazy about it. 
Why are you inserting yourself? Is the question. What did this have to do with you? <laughs> what did this have to do with your feelings? And again, you're 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 you know posing the question of at what cost as if you are, you know, this high and mighty you're in this high and mighty space of how women are supposed to be and how women are supposed to behave. She was there with her whole team. She had, you know, a whole entourage with her that was there watching over, making sure everything was cool, calm, and collected. It's not like she's walking into, like, muddy waters where this could be. Like, you're, you're changing the narrative into something that's so distasteful. This is what happened when Kai Sanat got wind of this tweet that Mia Khalifa made on Twitter. You don't even align with this conversation. Mia Khalifa, you're a goat. You've been put into the books. You, you, you done did your thing. You done went on your run. But you don't even align with this. You have no room to talk with this. Stay away from these little streamers. You see, I know she wants to talk about my height. She says streamers, which means everybody. What? These people don't got no chat. People do not think that streamers, this is why I be standing on business chat. You feel me? And this is why I love your rage gaming. That nigga always slider for me. This is why I love your rage gaming. Okay? Me and Khalifa, sit this one out. Thank you. Before the mafia get on that ass. <laughs> <laughs> Before the mouth, you get on that ass. Relax. I could absolutely see if if um you know Tyler went on like a twenty verse one on YouTube and had like all these guys just saying whatever to her and stuff like that in 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 hopes to promote her album. I could understand, right? But even in that dynamic, it would not be Mia Khalifa that would be the face. Or the vocal point of somebody who should be giving anybody or, you know, these younger women certain advice on how they should move within their career and the things that they should and should not do. Okay, I'm just being honest with you. Like th this adult entertainer who has done everything under the sun, everybody, you know, they, they can spot her from, from the rooter to the tutor. <laughs> okay, I would not be looking at somebody in that aspect to be looking at these younger girls trying to teach them the game or trying to show them the ropes. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. This was not some kind of crazy situation. And again, I have to say, if you are a younger person who is literally in his same exact age bracket, they're the same age, literally to the number, they're the same age and you are promoting your album or whatever, and you have the opportunity that one of your friends or, or colleagues is somebody who is one of the biggest streamers with the biggest audience that will tune in, would that not be smart for you to go over there and to showcase what it is because his audience is actually in turn kind of your audience that's going to get to see a different side of you and get to see your personality? It's smart. It's wise. It's wisdom. There's nothing wrong with that. There was nothing showy. There was nothing, um, pro you know, provocative. He wasn't like, you know, demeaning her. If anything, the fact that she rejected him and he took it, you know, whatever, and, and kept it cool, it kind of made her look like, oh, she's set apart. Oh, you know, she's not easily, uh, you know, touch, or she's not, she's not tangible. She's not somebody that's just going to go around and be around. Oh, you know, she respects herself. She, she has a certain honor to herself, not because they kiki and ha ha and means that she's going to say yes to go on a date with him. She got to show who she is. And how she feels about herself. That's very vital and very important. I think it was just a, a move for, in my personal opinion, Mia to insert herself into something that has nothing to do with her just so people can talk about it so maybe she can talk about it. But I agree with what he said. Ain't no room for you over here to talk about this situation. And can we can we be honest about the fact that there is nothing wrong with men pursuing women that they find attractive or they want to go on a date with? Can we talk about that? 
because in this whole age of you know feminists and and uh you know women being on top and women being the best and 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 decentering men and you know uh trying to tear down the patri patriarchy women act as though men are not allowed to be attracted to them to ask them on a date to try to holla at them like that's delusional they're attracted to women men are attracted to women what is the point of you, you know, being uh, seductive or being in your femininity if it's not to attract your counterpart? Wouldn't that make common sense? I would think so. Y'all so busy trying to impress other women that the women who actually have no problem with getting male attention because they understand the dynamics of, yes, men are attracted to me as am I attracted to men. And if a man tries to holler at me, I completely get it. A lot of these women have a problem. Oh, no. You, they, we need to protect her. They need to stay away from her. And she's over there like, are y'all okay? I'm not in danger. Like, I, I don't feel like there's anything wrong going on here. I'd like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. I would love to hear you guys' opinions on this video. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in the next one. Love you.